Well, good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Michael Wilhite here with Southern Indiana Weather. Thanks for logging on for a quick forecast update sponsored by Metal Magic in Washington. You can give Chad a call at 698-8555 for all of your paintless tent repair needs. Be sure to tell them that Southern Indiana Weather sent you. Live view from our Southwest Skycam out here on this uh, kind of a sort of beautiful Saturday morning. It is about 9.23 a.m. Eastern Time as recording this, and you can see tiny bit of blue out there but you've got a good deal of clouds out there as well i think it's going to be sort of a mostly cloudy day until we head into the afternoon and we start to see a little bit more of that partial clearing and uh rain free though uh, looks like the rain is pretty much going to stay to the north maybe an isolated sprinkle today but that's about it otherwise it's just uh, uh, it's going to be a uh, nicer day than what we have seen enjoy enjoy this weekend folks these uh 50s that we're back to today and tomorrow and even into the low 60s on Monday. Enjoy that while we can because beyond that, I've got an extremely cold forecast for you. Let's take a look at the mid-level jet stream to give you an idea of what this uh, pattern that we are entering into is going to be all about. It'll be a familiar pattern to you folks. It's the same pattern we saw all last winter long. Nothing has really changed over the past year and we are headed back into it. Looks to me like winter is coming early this year and uh, it's going to come with a vengeance and it comes this week let me show you what i mean here's where we are today and you notice what we got here we got that cold northwest flow colors indicate different heights uh, for the 500 millibar level in the atmosphere uh, i won't get all the nerd nerd talk here for you but uh, uh, bottom line here is we're looking at sort of the mid-level jet stream folks and I just want you to notice where it's coming from it's sort of angling uh, down here from Canada so the source region for our air uh, right now in the upper layers of the atmosphere is from Canada Canada is a lot cooler than us typically so therefore that's going to advect cooler air into us now watch as we put this into motion and what you can see is uh, that's pretty much what it's going to stay. In fact, next week we get a huge dip in the jet stream coming down. You get a big old ridge setting up here, and then you've got uh, air really uh, almost from the Arctic Circle here just sort of barreling down over us, rounding about, and uh, that's going to make for some very cold temperatures here. And what you can see as I continue to put this into motion, folks, is that really as far as the eye can see in the outlook, uh, we stay that way. In fact, we don't get uh, a break in that northwest flow until we start to go uh, what we call a zonal flow, east to the west, east to west, west to east, rather, I should say. Uh, but this is November the 23rd, so this is way out there. It looks like we have the potential to stay significantly below normal for a good extended uh, period of time here, folks. How cold are we talking about? Well, let's talk about just what our temperature spreads are going to be over the next few days. Indiana is right in here, if it's a little bit hard for you to see, just to kind of give you an idea there. Let me put this into motion. We get into the 50s today. By the time tomorrow rose, we're going to get near to the low 50s as well, uh, near the 60 degree mark on Tuesday. But then after that, take a look at this. Uh, cold temperatures start coming in, and by the time you get on uh, Wednesday, we may may hit the low 40 mark if if we're lucky there uh, but then beyond that we've got highs we're talking highs in the 30s really for a good while until you know maybe next weekend we might on a saturday warm up to near the 40 degree mark again by sunday though look at this by the time sunday comes only in the mid 30s for highs and this is next sunday the 16th uh, actually we've got a chance of snow in the forecast for that day in the modeling i'll show you that in a second but again, let me just put this into motion. And what you can see, folks, is as far as the eye can see, once that big cold front moves through on Tuesday of this week, it's just a sharp cool down. And we are significantly below normal for as far as the eye can see in, in what the modeling is showing us. So bundle up and uh, be ready, folks, because um, the cold weather, well, it, it's just downright coming. Let's go ahead and talk about low temperatures here while we're at it as well, just to give you an idea. And again, uh, let's get it back out here to where we're, where we're seeing uh, with that nice cool down and what you can see. Here we are consistently lows in the 20s and low 30s is, is pretty much what we can expect until we get later into the period. And you can see even later in the period, uh, some teens are potentially entering into the forecast here as well. So again, it's going to be a very, very, very cold spell. Now, talking about rain and precipitation chances over the next, uh, you know, 15, 16 days, something like that. Got a cold front that's going to move through Tuesday that could bring some light showers with it, possibly ending as some either light snow showers or some flurries as it after it moves through. That's a possibility, but uh, really then it's going to be uh, 
it until the weekend and then when the weekend hits we've actually got this little monster moving in now the models have been sort of uh, all over the place with this but the GFS for the past several runs has consistently been giving us snow about it sometimes it puts the heavier core of precipitation up here into Kentucky over us and over us and then sometimes it takes it further to the south uh, sometimes we're deeper into these blue lines sometimes we're into a little bit of the red line mixing in so there's a lot to fine tune over the next coming days this is for next Sunday so this would be a week from tomorrow we are eight days away from this folks basically and uh, you know essentially what you can say um, about this something's gonna happen uh, but we're going to have to fine-tune those details. Uh, all right. So right now, what you're seeing here, if you've, if you've never seen this map before, uh, many of you have. The first dash blue line here is what we call typically the rain snow. Changeover line, this is the 540 thickness line. It's right about 50% of the time. You actually would have to go up into the uh, about temperatures, about 4,000 feet to see what the temperatures are. And I don't have that map pulled up, but if I did, it's significantly cold enough to snow. So there's, there's no doubt in my mind all of this would be falling as snow in Indiana at this point. Now, how much snow would this lead to? Again, it's pure speculation at this point. So don't take this completely as a forecast. I just show it for, well, almost for entertainment value at, at this point because it's going to change 50 times before we get there. But to illustrate the point that some light snow is possible, what you can see is it gives us, oh, maybe a half inch to uh, three quarters of an inch over southern Indiana here. Now, if I were to take you back into previous runs, some of the previous runs have said one to three inches area wide, and some of them have been even having a six inch bullseye out here over southern Illinois. And then you come down to this, uh, that was one run prior to this, and now you're back to this. So again, that illustrates, folks, this is going to change. It's, it's changed that much over the past four model runs. Um, it's going to change that much over the dozens of model runs that we're going to have between now and, and when this event comes next Sunday. But every model run is hinting at some sort of the possibility for some snow. So we'll go ahead and take that into the count. I've mentioned it in my forecast, but I've only uh, put it, I think, as a 20 or 30 percent chance. And as confidence increases over time, we'll try to fine tune those details a little bit more. But the bottom line is it's going to be cold, folks. And uh, we're going to have most likely plenty of these little shots for uh, snow opportunities if it stays that cold. So keep tuned uh, here to southern Indiana weather for your most accurate forecast in the area. Let me show you this, folks. This is the CFS model. This is climate forecast system. This is based off of the GFS, but it's extended out to 45 days. And uh, again, once you get past a week or two, uh, it, you're getting into almost voodoo territory with modeling as far as I'm concerned. But I just want to show you a hint of what it's thinking of the pattern at hand. Uh, below normal weather, folks, it looks like it's going to stay around a while. And here's exactly what I mean by that. Uh, this is uh, temperature forecast anomalies. This is uh, how, how far above or below normal it may get in degrees Celsius in a five-day forecast chunk. And as I go through this, just let me show you this. Uh, below, 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 below. Oh, we're below again. Hey, we're starting to get a little bit of that above inch towards us just a little bit. Finally, here we see maybe just a little bit of an inching uh, towards us. Uh, not, a, not a significantly above normal, but uh, this is only a half a degree Celsius anomaly. That'd be a return to near normal temperatures. But you see, this is the forecast uh, chunk from the 25th to the 30th of November. Remember, I showed you the jet stream kind of goes starts to go zonal around that time. Uh, so that would put us back to more of a normal territory, but normal territory would be upper 40s uh, by that time. So it's still going to be fairly cold um, no matter what way you look at it but that's better than 30s and uh, as we continue on with that but then what you see is is we go back to cold and then maybe maybe we get uh, some slight hints of returning to near normal again and I'll, as far as I can see for the 45 day chunk and this by the way takes you all the way to 23rd of December so again this is a very long range forecast model what you see here is very cold temperatures again and, and as I put this into motion it's cold temperatures really as far as the eye can see. It's, it's far more below normal than it is above. And again, folks, that is what my winter forecast has called for. I released it uh, about two weeks ago. And you can go to southernindianaweather.com right onto our website. And you can scroll down on our homepage and just look for the snowy car graphic there and click on that. And you'll be able to see the winter forecast that I put out, folks. It looks cold and snowy to me again this winter. I, I don't necessarily think that we're going to see snowmageddon here in southern Indiana, but I, I do think it's going to be an above average snow year. And again, an average snow year is really 10 to 15 inches or so, depending on what 
what latitude you are. So, you know, I, I would not be surprised to see 20 to 30 for a lot of us around the area this year. But uh, we'll have to see how it pans out. But it's certainly, uh, it's off to a good start. Here it is already the coming on the mid part of November. And we are talking about a major cool down with the first chance of accumulating snow. Um, it's coming, folks. It's coming. All right, let's take a look at 10-day forecast here, sponsored by the Smile Center in Huntingburg. As I said, mostly cloudy today, sort of a partial clearing, but again, 52 your high, 51 tomorrow under partly cloudy skies. Monday's your pick of the day, going back up to near 60. Rain moves in. Once that cold front passes through on Tuesday, our high will be reached probably closer towards the noon hour. I think we'll fall into the 40s most likely during the afternoon. It'll be a slow fall, nothing overly significant there. Might change to some light snow showers overnight if, if there's any moisture left, uh, but that's very iffy. But then beyond that, take a look at this. We get up to near the 40 degree mark for Wednesday, but then as I scroll down, 38, 39, 38, 36, 34, uh, very, very, very much below normal. And if you're considering 56, 57, something like that being your average high, um, 20 plus degrees below normal for a our, our, our temperatures most of the time yeah it's a pretty significant cool down by far even the first chance for some light accumulations possible on Sunday I'll be watching this closely in the coming days folks it's not a guarantee by any means yet but we'll put it in the forecast and at least mention it and just say that it's possible at this point it's not a guarantee but folks I've only given it a 30 percent chance as confidence increases over time I will raise that all right so that is it for this update, folks. It's cold. If you like winter, I've got a great forecast for you. If you like summer, folks, um, hibernate. Install the fireplace. Get it get it up again because we're going to need it. That is it, folks. I'm meteorologist Michael Wilhite with your southernindianaweather.com long-range update for November the 8th, 2014. Have a good day, and we'll see you next time.